Buster and Sparkle. Buster and Sparkle ran down the street, chasing feathers. I have to go home for dinner, Fizzles says as he flew off to his nest. I see you guys tomorrow. He's the best of tags, Sparkle says as she walked home. He always wins. We get him someday, Buster says. Sparkle waved goodbye and went into the house. Her parents had been watching her at the window. We don't like you hanging out with dogs, her father hisses. But Dad, Sparkle meows. He's my best friend. Dogs are cross, her mom says. They sneak past all day long and knock things over with those goofy tails. And don't get me started on the drooling. If we see you greet him again, her dad says. Then you're off the young sports teams at school. Understand? As soon as Buster got home, his own mom started to browse. She gave him a good sniff. Where are you with this cat again? She asked. What have we told you about cats? His dad says. They are lazy and rude. They just lie around all day. And they poop inside the house. Buster's mom says, Goose animals go outside. You know that. Buster tells Ruth. But Sparkle is fun. She's the only one as fast as I am. If you smell like the fur lines again, his dad says, You're eating dry kibble for a week. The next day at school, Buster and Sparkle talk about their parents. They show old fashions. Buster said, Cats and dog can be friends. I know, Sparkle says, but I have an idea. She whispered in his ear. The next morning, Buster dangles from a trench high in the trees. Help me, I'm going too far, he cried. For the loves of laces, his mind barked. Buster is in trouble. Buster dad tried to climb the trees, but slid down the trunk. What do? He says. The pattern of pearl stems of the lens. Have you seen our daughters? Sparkles does us. We think she lost. All we have is her colors. A mom's meals. She never lives without it. We have our own problem. Buster Dad says. Our son is about to fall. Look. Sparkles Dad sighs. Then the scurry of the tree trunks. He lifts from the branch to branch until he reaches the top. Carefully, the cat helps Buster down to the ground. Dog has no bushiness in the trees. He says shortly. We have to go find our daughter. Sparkle's mom says, please let us know if you see her. Wait, Buster does spread out and to the collar. We can help. He took a big, long snip of Sparkle's collars. Then he sniffed the air. This way, he says, leading everyone down the street. Soon they found Sparkle napping under a tree. There you are, her mom says. I was lost, Sparkle says. I was so scared. These fine dogs have us sniff you out, Sparkle dad says. Thank you for finding her. Would you like to come over for lunch? We love to, Buster mom says. It's not for use. Your son might have broken a leg. When no one was looking, Sparkle and Buster gave each other a high five. Our plans work, they whisper. Back at the cat's house, everyone sat down to eat tuna fish. You know, Sparkle dad says, maybe your, your, your dogs are okay after all. The same goes for your cats, your cats. Buster Dad starts wagging his tail happily. He knocks over a vase filled with catnip. Just control your tails, Sparkle's mom says. Think about it. Buster and Sparkle call their parents old fashioned. What does old fashioned mean? What is the turning point in the story? What caused things to change? Have you heard of, of William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? If so, how is this story the same? How is this different?